Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 19 of Slime Rancher. Last episode, feeding some rock gordos, found a new area. Let me check my map. Found a new area all the way over here. There's crystal slimes, or there's even odd onion growth and all those cool fire flowers. I'm sure there's more to be had over there. Uh, I'm looking for like treasure crackers. Also, yeah, I upgraded my treasure cracker thingy. I have new treasure that I need to open. I uh, looted my drills. I need to go hit up my pumps, and I really need to hit up my apiaries. I've been doing my rounds. I've been a busy bee, and we penned up some of these guys. And I'm not, I'm not really certain how long these guys are going to be here, but I figured I might as well start producing some of their ports. You know, like why, why not cage them and leave them there and let them start producing? So I'm gonna do exactly that. Uh, let's swing by, pick up our foods. I do need to harvest yet again my plorts because, well, there's a lot there. And what ends up happening is they sit on the floor and then the boom, uh, the boom slime send them flying. And then we have tar, and then bad things happen. And we don't want to do that. <laughs> no, we don't want to do that. If you guys are enjoying the, the Slime Ranger videos, I do appreciate those of you who take a moment to like the video. It does really help me out, and I thank you guys for that support. But the plan for today, let's hit up those apiaries, hit up the pumps. I'm getting to the point where I'm so close, if not already able, to make my warp tech. Like, I'm, I'm right there. Like, I'm, I'm ready to go. Like, it's, it's, it's so close. <laughs> and I really want to get to that point. Uh, that thing is filled up. That is fantastic. That thing is filled up. That is amazing. It's time to hit up some of these ports and loot them. Oh, snap! Too many mint mangoes. I didn't even... I didn't even notice that I was putting mint mangoes on the ground. That's not good. But, now that we have a consumer of odd onions... Yes! Yes! No more odd onions need to be in here. I'm not gonna be able to take all of them. There's gonna be a few that. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not gonna be able to take all of them, right? There's gonna be three, four, four that are on the ground. Let's just jettison a few of them that way. I'll, I'll get those in a. I'll get those in a little bit. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Store them. Awesome. And then extra mint mangoes. We have a surplus, which is funny because we still have that tree over there that I don't need. I do need to visit my free range tabbies. Um, haven't been paying much attention to them, and I feel like that's not doing me any good. Those, those, those things are probably disappearing, if I had to wager. But what's important right now is making sure that these dudes are fed so they're happy, and they don't, they don't cause any trouble. I don't think they can cause trouble from that position. They're vegetarians, so they won't even eat the fruit that's here. They will not eat any chickens. Obviously, there's no chickens here, so I think they're, they're pretty much a safe bet over there. I don't know what's going to happen when I convert them into Largos, though. Uh, I did just harvest the heartbeats, so I don't need to go to that direction. Uh, let's get the plorts out, and then... No. No, I lied. Let's not get the plorts out. We'll get the plorts out in but a second. Let's prioritize the pumps. If I don't get those pumps taken care of, essentially they're sitting on that timer, then they're not working. Have, you, have, you, have your mint mangoes. Duh. They like their mint mangoes. Oh, hold on. Let's look at this thing. Quantum slimes that I don't have. What do you what do you want for them? You wanna get you wanna trade me? Victor is scamming me. Boom slimes, quantum slimes, hunter slimes, and he wants to give me a singular honey plort, six hens, and a rad plort. Victor, you're a scam artist, sir. You are a scammer, and you should be ashamed. <gasps> Lava dust! Yes! Lava dust, you should not be ashamed. You should be. You should be incredibly excited to be in my inventory. Yes, lava dust! Nice! Okay, I don't have any more advanced pumps to put down. I will need to make some more of those. Can I get can I get three? Darn. That would have been. That would have been the, the best. Oh, okay, I can't carry any of these things. I was gonna take some of those big plorts. <laughs> but alas, I can't carry them. I think the thing that's restricting me right now the most is the apiary, so I really need to get back to the moss blanket. Oh, once I get that, I can make my teleporter. I need three more, I think, honeycombs? Hexacombs? I think I need three more of those, and then we're, then we're cooking with gas, then we're good. It's so close, it's about to happen. Ugh, oh, man. Ugh, oh, I want this, I want my teleporter. It's gonna speed everything up. I do really need to turn in these ports though for some money, so it's actually a good thing that I kind of have to do it now. Because I've been I've been banking a lot of them, and I've been spending a lot of money lately on all my upgrades. I bought the treasure cracker thingy, and just yeah, I've been spending a lot of money. So I think it'd be a good idea here. Um, I mean, just looking at this place, it seems to me that yeah, unless I make regular visits, 
because there's this is this is the issue that I had with free ranging, uh, the concern I guess that I had, because there's no port collector. These ports sit on the ground, and then I'm just wagering they disappear over time. Keep pressing that instead of Q. I I'm, I'm guessing they just disappear over time. And, you know, unless I make my visits, I'm, I'm wasting these things. And here I came and I only got about 10, 15 ports. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a decent amount here, and albeit it's free production, it very specifically requires my intervention every time. And I think that's one of the concerns I have. I might convert them into, like, a normal pen, and then start feeding them the stony hens. Maybe I'll remove the briar hens, because the briar hens are the favorite of the boom slimes, and I'm feeding my boom slimes the favorite of the phosphor, you know, because they're, they're bred together. So I could get double production, and then I have my chickens right over there, and I think that might be a better bet. And then I can just obviously just pick up any chickens that are on the ground and feed them that way. I'm not... I don't know. I'm not totally in love with the idea of the free range thing just yet. It's, it's a little difficult, I think, for the harvesting. Don't get me wrong, it's not impossible. I obviously just came through here and got a whole bunch of stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Huh. You need to not not be over here. There, there, there can be there can be no slimes in here, for you guys will eat my chickens, which I full well expect to have quite a few elders. Wow. It must just not be loaded. An elder rooster, an elder, okay, double elder rooster. Uh, carrots. Let's just jettison them off in the distance here. That, that's, I don't know how those ones landed there, but they did. <laughs> Let's just jettison them over in that direction. Let's see, maybe we can get lucky and get some rooster spawns, but if I put a rooster here, should be good. I'll take the elder roosters out of here. Let those hen hens do their thing. That's an elder hen hen. Okay, chickens produce. Puddle ports, I would love to gather. There's just, there's just so much you have to do. I think that's one of the things. There's just so much you need to do. Have the stony hens, because I know you guys like them. And I will take, I think, I don't know. Do I want to pull the briars out? I think I do. Give me the briar chicks. Give me the briar chicks. And then, um... Let's hope that those stonies produced. If they didn't eat these stony hens over here, I'm actually going to take them back. Pretty sure they would have eaten them already. Yeah, they probably ate them already. So we'll put the, 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 the chickadoos down. They'll grow up. They'll get num numbed. I don't see any stonies in here. Ah, oh well. So we'll take our we'll take our puddle ports. But yeah, it looks like I want to come back here with a couple... With a couple stony hens. And then we'll start feeding those tabbies. On top of what they're eating. We'll feed them some of that. Is that a stony chick? Stony chick? Here. Good luck, you guys. Sorry, Elder Hen. It's, um, it's your time. <laughs> it's your time to move on. Hey, no. This is the, this, that, the, I don't care how happy you are. I don't care how happy of a face you make. You can't go over here. That is trouble. That is trouble. I keep pressing T. Shoot. 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 Back, I say. <laughs> Back, foul demons. <laughs> There's one thing you can't do. It's go over there and eat all my chickens. And you know what? You guys don't even seem to be enjoying this yarn ball that I so so kindly gave you. I'm gonna go give it to my hut, my honey ones. Maybe they'll like it more. Maybe they'll be more appreciative. Uh, I also really just hope this keeps them in the pen is kind of the, the primary reason I'm doing this. Oh, that just kind of phases through the pen. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Here you guys go. Oh, no, let me in. Here you go. Have fun. I think they're booping it. It looked like they booped it. I don't know. I have no idea if they're booping it or not. We're, we're just gonna we're just gonna let that in there for a little bit and see how that goes. One more port. Let's press the magic button. Okay. I need the money, but I know I'm about to get a lot of money. So what I'm gonna do is the initial run is going to be used in the. Uh, the fabricator. The initial run of resources, because I'm also going to grab the rest of the pink ports that I can carry. Put away these puddle ports. I'm going to sell everything else. Stop giving me your rads! I don't want them! Shoo! Back foul demon! Alright, I have two slime keys. I think it's, again, it's, it's about time we open that door. It's about time we open that door that's at the, um... Oh, the whatchamacallit, the Indio Quarry. I still need to go to the ancient ruins. Or, I'm sorry, the glass desert. I just... I'm so busy with doing what I'm doing right now. I don't know if it's a super idea. 
Truly, truly don't. Not until I get my warp tech. My warp tech will speed everything up. Come on, get rid of them plorts. Thank you. Uh, I will let these things auto harvest themselves. I probably should have bought a couple of uh, pumps right there, but I still need to get some more of these pink plorts. I guess we'll do that here. So the first things first is let's do a money run. Let's convert every stack of 50 that I have right now into some new bucks. You see that over there? That is a honey slime that has escaped his cage. That is a honey slime that is in a spot that he need not be. That is two honey slimes. Why are you guys so... Jeez, the jump height on them. Why lately they've just been... They've been out of control. I think I have to dwindle their numbers or something. I think they're, uh... <laughs> I think they're becoming a problem. Because they're about to turn into tar. They're gonna eat some of those boom ports, and it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> I'm really worried about that. I don't know if you can tell. I'm really concerned that that's gonna be an issue here in the future. Okay, I think we'll sleep. Read any mail that we might have. I haven't checked in a while after I sell some of the stuff and maybe buy some more 7z rewards just to see what I can unlock. But I am getting quite a bit of money from this. Hopefully we can get something good. Hopefully. It should just be aesthetic, but apparently there's some things that, as you progress, become more and more worth. Don't know what they are, but I'm curious. My curiosity need be sated. It need be sated. Yes. Curiosity killed the tabby slime. Curiosity got the tabby slime in lots of trouble. Silly tabby slimes. Oh my god, those hunters are just like flying too. Why can't you all just behave? You're like children. Why can't you just sit there and behave? Why do you gotta be bad consistently? Behave! The, of, of all the slimes that I expected to be trouble, it wasn't my honey, my honey tabbies. Mm -mm. Can you stop radiating my face? I, I don't want my face to melt off. That's bad. Give me, give me my face, thank you. Give me my face back. You, you can't have it. You cannot have it, I say. Nah. Nah. What do we got here? 50, a whole 50 stack. And then there's still more boom. Look, look, you see that over there? I see a hundred boom in the distance. There's a hundred boom plorts waiting for me. Well, at the very least, you know what I'm making? I'm making some monies today. So that's pretty good. There's more than 50 pink plorts waiting for me. <laughs> It's so good, but it takes so long. I think that's one of the, the concerns I'm having, is I'm wondering if there's some slime science that's gonna help me with this. It's taken so long to uh, to bank everything, you know? To gather, to bank, and then to also be exploring. A little, a little consume, time consuming. Hmm. I really hope there's a, a thing that could help with that. Speed it up in some capacity. Make it a little, little, little easier. L lighten the load, if you will. Because <laughs> it takes so long to pull 50 out of here, and then to go put 50 away, and then to repeat the pattern over and over and over again. And then I'll- Ow! My face! While also gathering the necessary mats. Dude, these boom slimes are just making so much noise. Ever since I gave them that lantern. <laughs> not sure if I regret giving them that lantern or not. They, 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 they can't be trusted. They can't be trusted. I think I will pull out any honey or tabbies that remain here. Uh, tabby ports, that is. Let's see, unless there's a 50 stack. No, there's no 50 stacks. 50 stack? This is a 50 stack. I'm trying to get the 50 stacks out of time to save some time here. But this now means all the pens are empty and they all have the capacity to store. Oh my, trouble. Trouble. <laughs> they all have the capacity to store some more plorts. So there shouldn't be any uh, port overflow for the honeys to eat. I'm gonna turn around. There's gonna be a tar. Wait for it. Wait for it. Place your bets. There's gonna be a tar behind me. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you, children. I'm watching you. <laughs> oh, snap. I need to get more water. I've been killing a lot of tar lately. Let's see. Yep, another stack of 50. But there you go. That That's, that's lower the number substantially and increase the ridiculous amount of money that I've got. It's an excess. Oh my god, you see you see that, right? Like, that port goes flying. I'll just pull out the uh, 40 here. If anything that needs tended to, it's these guys. These are the troublemakers right here. 
absolute troublemakers. Uh, there should be more than 50 right here, absolutely. And you know what? I've got a good bit of money. I think I'm gonna store all of these. We'll make a trip back to the fabricator. Let's see, because I need to take the 50 stack here anyway. And now I need to go, I really need to have these apiaries. That's the next goal, apiaries. I, I've been I've been focused on all this stuff, but the apiaries have been ready for some time. And there should be six of them ready to go. Please, between six of them, can I get, I think, three hexacombs? That would be so cool. That would, oh, that'd be so clutch. Oh, that'd be so clutch, man. If only it had happened. If only. I do think I need to make another pump, though, when I'm here. I'm not sure about a drill, though. I think I have two apiaries left over. We'll see when we check the thingy, Mabobber. Enjoy! The refinery, or whatever it's called. Here you go. Fab yeah, this is the fabricator. That's the refinery. I keep saying that, but... Uh, an apiary. I have, wow, 101 pink plorts. Awesome. Let's make a few of those. Make an apiary. Make an advanced drill. And you know what? I'm gonna make another apiary with what I've got right now. And you know what? If it's harvested, if it's on the ground, I'm gonna store it. It takes two seconds. Gimme, 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 gimme. Let's just completely remove all the fruit from this tree. Nice. I'm a magician. I have all these fruit things flying around my face. <laughs> Can <laughs> Can your Mac do this? So, some of you will know exactly what I'm referring to <laughs> when I say that. Can your Mac do this? Proceeds to drag windows across screen, but uh, proceeds to drag Q-bears across face. Mm-hmm. Yep, that, that's the life we're at. That's the life we're living. Here you guys go. Enjoy your ex excess Q-bears. Enjoy your ridiculous amounts of food. Please, be mindful of your Duke. Don't, uh, don't send it into other cages, for that causes issues. That causes some serious issues. Excess mint mango can get stored, and I'm going. Oh, or, or, or not. Wait a minute. Is that is that all? The, well, okay. I was gonna say, don't I have another mint mango storage. <laughs> Let's check the pumps. I think I need to put one more down, and we're rushing the moss blanket. I need to visit my apiaries. I've I've been, ah, uh, I've been so focused. Okay, advanced pump. Can I store another one, or can I make another one? Do I have? Do I need capacity? Advanced pump. There you go. I have maximum pumps here. And if I loot these things, then they're all going to be on the same timers, which is fantastic. Unless, of course, these break. Lava dust? No lava dust. And that thing did not break, which is fan freaking fantastic. What do you got? That one broke, which is okay, right? Don't I have another one? Right now, that was my last one. All right, I need to make another pump. But there you go. They're all on the same timer. That's that's good. I'll, st I'll uh, drop this stuff off, and what's the fastest way to get there? Other than, I guess, go through the overgrowth. I go through the overgrowth, teleport, be at the tabby, and then walk. And I guess that's as close as I'm going to get. I guess that's what we'll do. I haven't been checking these dudes, but remember, they have auto port collection and auto port feeders, so or uh, f food feeders, so they should be perfectly okay. I think I have a surplus of uh, primordial oil now. I think we're pretty well on that front. How are you guys doing? Still have plenty of food. Yeah, you know what? I'll pull out a stack of 50 of your plorts and I'll just store them real fast. I could sell them for a pretty penny. I did say I wanted to sleep, but I don't think that makes the most sense right now. I think the thing that makes the most sense is visiting the apiary or the moss blanket and then sleeping, because that would also pass time. So there you go. Now we also have some crystal plorts stored, which is good because I had none. I have no crystal plorts in the, um,. Oh, the, the refinery or the, the thingamabob or the thing that I can never remember the name. I, I had none of those. So now I've got something. Just take those. It's the 15 that fell on the floor. And you know what I'm going to do with them? Free range! Hey, guys! You want some food? Yeah? I'll be back shortly. Enjoy your foodsies. Have, have fun with that. <laughs> yeah! Hello, old tabby gorda that once was. Hello, moss blanket. Please be kind and generous with copious amounts of hexacombs today. Because I think everything in here is now a, uh, it's an advanced apiary. We previously had a few novice ones. So I, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping RNG can be on my side. Fingers crossed. What do we have in store today? I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna want it, but it ain't gonna happen. What do we got? Hello apiaries. Good to see you. Oh my god, there's a hexacomb right off the bat. Royal Jelly! 
The king of all jellies, that is, until you meet the queen. Oh, snap! What do we got here? Royal jelly is a rare resource obtained with an apiary. The royal jelly found in the hives... Uh, the royal jelly found in the hives across the far, far range is as special as it is unnaturally sweet compared to the other varieties. It's believed that this is a result of bees collecting in small deposits of slime from honey slimes and working into their royal jelly mixture. If a rancher is lucky enough to acquire some, they'll find its unique properties are very valuable in certain slime science endeavors. Nice! Nice! I'm here for hexacomb. Double royal jelly? I'm here for hexacomb, but I just got double royal jelly. Okay, not much from that one. Albeit that kind of stinks because I'm getting the rare material before I'm getting the uncommon material, but I'm gonna need it eventually. So like, it's okay. And no hexacombs on that one. And I have this one and then the one I put way out there. Oh no, I think I'm one hexacomb off. Oh, come on. It's coming down to the wire. It's coming down to the wire. I put one out here, didn't I? Thought, oh wait, no, I tried to. I tried to, but I hit my limit. Oh no! So close! Two royal jellies and two hexacombs. I'm pretty sure royal jellies are obscenely rare compared to hexacombs. Oh no! Oh man. I think it might be faster to run over to the indigo quarry and then hop to the teleporter. I could be wrong. Oh no. Oh man. <sighs> well, on the next 12 hour cycle, I could sleep. I think we're pretty likely to get at least one hexacomb out of the mix. But two royal jellies. I don't even know what uses a royal jelly. I can't wait to can't wait to figure out because if it's a rare material that means the item it's probably going to be going to give me is probably useful. If I activate that machine and leave the resources on the ground and then I revisit it, and that means we've kind of hurried up the timer. I'm gonna do that. Okay, nothing we haven't already gotten yet. And thankfully it broke. Which means we can now put it where our teleporters are. Ooh. This is this is huge. This is this is some progress here. Let's drop this stuff off. I don't think we have enough hexacombs. I can check to see if I have enough for the warp tech, but I think we're one off. Oh, it's so close. I don't even know if I've been using wild honey yet. Or buzzwax for that matter. In anything. Uh, let's see here. Warp tech. Pink teleporter. I'm missing one hexacomb and obviously the pink ports, which we can get. Oh, I can make a gray one. Oh. Oh, 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 I can make this now. I can make a gray teleporter instead. And then I can have a refine. Oh my God, because I have the royal jelly. We're doing it. We're making the refinery link. Allows you to remotely deposit resources into the refinery. Oh, I think this is a huge step in the right direction. I think that is a very, very important thing to get. And then I can get the gray teleporter. What I'm going to do is let's, let's run over to the indigo quarry through here. Throw down the extra drill now because I have the capacity for it. I should have one pre-made. In fact, I think these are all ready. Uh, where can I put one right here? Yeah, I think I can put one right here. Advanced drill. Do I have the inventory? Do I have the inventory space. I have the inventory space. Let's get the loot. Oh, we're about to get so much indigonium and jellystone and all those materials. Oh, <laughs> I think we finally hit the point. We're about to start just raking in the loot. So we got what? One, two, three, four, five. Can I put down another one? I thought it was six. Yes, I can. I have six drills in total, all right at a teleporter location, all in the same timers. Ooh, snap! Oh, snap! Okay, now now the, the problem is I need to get all the way over to uh, um, <laughs> that drill, and then we're going to wrap it up. But now we have... Now we have the refinery link, and I can get the next, I can get the gray teleporter next episode, easy. <laughs> I think, I think next episode is going to be incredibly huge, an incredible, like, leap in terms of production and ease of life and quality of life, like, things like that. That's going to be, 
That's gonna be impressive. All right, here, here it is. The indigonium and slime fossils and jellystone. Let's just collect our loot haul here. 23 indigonium in my inventory. Wow. I don't think I've ever had that much in one haul before. And remember, these are just the advanced ones. There's one that's... I think there's two categories above and advanced, which I'm surprised we haven't unlocked yet. We've had, we've gotten all the resources. We've unlocked all the basic ones, and we. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kind of shocked. I am just kind of shocked. But you guys, it is time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 19 of Slayer Rancher. We did it. We can get our warp tech, and we have our refiner. Like I think we're. Uh, I think we're becoming professional slime slime ranchers now at this point. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying the series, but again, I will see you dudes next time, and thanks for watching.